Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I want to talk to you guys about Series 6, what I think is actually going to be in Series 6 and what you guys need to do to prepare for it. Now if you guys don't know, it actually is coming up this next Friday so I believe that is going to be the 20th. So yeah, in, in a week from today. So it'll be the 20th, and it's actually the final series update. So with that, brings a lot more than I've seen people actually talking about. So there's a lot of me to talk about with that. But I also want to give a shout out to Ryan Pastor for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to be shouted out in the next video, comment down below Noti Gang. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video and turn that notification bell on, of course. Now also, if you guys are watching this on Friday the 13th, then, oh, it's Friday the 13th. Didn't even realize that. Friday 13th, okay. If you guys did not already see my video from earlier today, I did actually reveal the third confirmed golden ticket. It's a really good one. It's not another tight end. Go ahead and check that video out. I will say though, I did already reveal two, or I, I confirmed two of them. And the first the first two are tight ends, but they're honestly still really good cards. I feel like people wouldn't be as upset about two tight ends coming out in a row, uh, me confirming the second one, if you know, then they come out back to back. But they're not going to be released back to back, so don't worry about that. But we do have Series 6 to talk about, so let's get right into it. What is the number one thing that I think is going to be really, really big with Series 6? And then I think you guys need to get up to the point where you can actually access this stuff. Well, that, of course, is going to be power-up passes. Now, for me, right, I've only done 153 days. I really have not been keeping up with this as much as I should have been this year. I just was pretty busy, and some days I just don't have time to hop on and play quick solos. Maybe I just have to make my videos real quickly and then go get some other stuff done. So, unfortunately for me, I'm only at, like, the 95 overall power pass. But if you guys have actually been keeping up with your solos... You're not that far away from a 99 overall power pass. And then, of course, we have a 98 at 260 days. So here's the thing. I definitely think that because this is the final series update, we are going to get a 98 overall power pass and a 99 overall power. It just makes sense. It's the final series update. Even though there's no 99 overall players in the game, aside from Patrick Mahomes, that is a base 99, so I don't really think you'll be able to use this for a while unless you want to get Patrick Mahomes, which is cool, I guess. Uh, Patrick Mahomes is still pretty good, but you probably want to save this card for, like, something else. Uh, golden tickets, unfortunately, are not able to use power passes on because they don't go into any sort of power-ups. But I definitely think we'll get a 98 overall power pass at probably level 95, and at level 100, we'll get a 99 overall power pass. So that's going to be pretty dang big. Although there's no, you know, 99s and there's not a ton of 98 overall players in the game, Lamar Jackson, this one would be very, very nice to see. So I think in the series update, we'll probably end up getting a 98 overall and a 99 overall power pass. So if you guys are not already up there, if you're not up to maximum level 90 and you want to get these power passes, that's going to be big. What I recommend you guys do, I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is the solo that I do every single time. I know some people are going to say to do like the NFL Epics, Baker Mayfield, whatever. This is the one that has worked the best for me because trust me, I did the Baker Mayfield NFL Epics. I did another one. This one is the one that I have found that works best for me. And trust me, you guys see my videos every single time when the new series update comes out. I am one of the first people up with all of the max model rewards. I literally will have them done next Friday. The day that it all releases, I'll be level 100, so take that as it is. But as you guys can see, it is under the booth breakers, and then is the, is the uh, Technicolor commentary. All you guys have to do is throw a touchdown, and then you just hit refresh. Now, this counts as a full game because it's a house rules style of solo, basically. So I believe it's 220 XP, I want to say, you get instead of like 110 for a normal challenge. So definitely... Do that if you guys are not up to max my level 90. I will say going from like 80 to 90 usually takes me like, I think it's around like four or five hours I want to say it took me. So be prepared to just sit here and hit, you know, redo, 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 redo. You don't have to back all the way out. Just hit restart. It's going to take a long time. 100% worth it though. So I think that is super, super important that you guys do get that done because you're going to want to be able to get the maximum level rewards. Now, we don't know if there's going to be something in the store. I'm really hoping there is something like maybe a full Ultimate Legend. I think that's like the minimum they should do. Not really sure what else they could possibly do, but 
I definitely fixed like a full ultimate legend or something. But now let's get into the second part. And this is the one that I think a lot of people are not even talking about. Like I had not seen one person talk about this, haven't gotten one tweet, haven't seen one comment, not one DM at all. And it's very, very important because if you guys have been playing the gauntlet and the journey, now is the time when they're going to release them. You have to think that with this being the final series, unless they plan to just randomly drop it on us one day as a content day, since they haven't really been releasing any sort of content at all, maybe they do hold on to it, but it wouldn't make any sense to me. I feel like they have to release it with the new series update. So, if you guys don't already know, now is the time when they are going to finally release the Gauntlet Master. So, what you guys need is you're going to need these Gauntlet Expert tokens. There's going to be some sort of set, right? And you're gonna add these tokens in. I don't exactly know what player you're going to get. I don't know what players you're gonna choose from. I don't know what overalls they're going to be. More than likely though, probably 97 or 98. You have to imagine they're gonna be 99, but seeing how we have a lot of 97 overall players, I think it's gonna be 97. So we'll have to see exactly what's going on in that. I think you might actually just be able to add in all the gauntlet, like add in the tokens, and you could probably choose a higher overall version of any gauntlet player that's come out. That's not confirmed. I'm just saying that's what I think will probably end up happening because they've always said throughout this year that players like the Leonard Fournette, the Derwin James, those players weren't able to be added into power-ups until later with the expert token set. So you know, look out for that. So if you guys have not already done it, you do have to get literally perfect stars on all the challenges. So it is pretty hard to do, but I know some people that have got it done. So the Gauntlet 1, definitely make sure you guys get that done. There also is a Gauntlet 2, so make sure you guys get that done. And I'm pretty sure the Gauntlet 3 is going to be dropping with the next series update. And if you guys have not played any of the Journey challenges, of course, we do have Journey 1 and Journey 2. And again, it looks like the game just froze, but get the collectible, get all the stars. So that is probably the number two thing you guys need to get done is make sure that you guys play the journey. Make sure you guys play the gauntlet if you want to get whatever reward there's going to be. I don't know exactly what reward it's going to be, what players, you know, maybe you'll be able to choose from, but I think it'll definitely be worth it, especially if you guys don't have that high of an overall team, because if you're going to get like a 97 overall player, if you're going to get like two 97 overall players, that could be really good. Now, Let's get on to a very important topic here. I believe, I don't, I, I think maybe some people just recently got the game because when I announced in, I don't remember exactly what video it was, I just recently released a video going over like the series six news, going over like the series Redux players, which is another aspect I will get to with the series six players. Also, I mentioned in there that the trophies get cut in half from Series 5. So you guys see I have 326 Series 5 trophies. When Series 6 comes out, that would be cut in half. That would be down to 163 trophies. So if you guys have any of those collectibles, like you can't even, if you hold on to them in your right mind, enough people try to get around it like that. It doesn't work. That still gets cut in half to Series 6, half the trophies. So just quick sell it. Use up your trophies while you can because obviously with them getting cut in half, it doesn't add up the value unless you have like a lot and then you can go ahead and get the series 6 competitive master which for series 5 was joey bosa so i don't know who it's going to be this time around probably an offensive player though i'm hoping it's someone really really good now if you guys actually want to use your series 5 trophies what i recommend you do is get the coach madden collectibles those are obviously very very big for helping your team out and then maybe you want to do like the touchdown packs to get the quick sells bosa is really good but there are some really good left ends out at this time and if you have like if you have like 2100 you can save up and then get the NAT Series 6 Competitive Master. They don't raise the price on it. So keep that in mind, but definitely make sure you guys use up your Series trophies. And like I was just talking about the Series Redux players, this is the final thing I think you guys need to take note of with this next Series update. And one of the bigger things, especially seeing how I think we will get a 98 to 99 overall power, well, we'll get a 98 and then a 99 overall power pass. You guys can see Stefan Diggs, Marshawn Lattimore, Mel Renfro, Eric Armstead, Tyron Matthew, Franco Harris, David Tyree, Kyler Murray, Calais Campbell, Michael Thomas, Nick Bosa, Lamar Jackson, Chris McCaffrey, Stephon Gilmore, John Ross, Vita Vea, Jalen Ramsey, Ed Tutal Jones, Andre Reed, Ken Houston, and Gale Sears all will be going into packs as a series Redux item. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, basically, all these LTDs that come out from a series, they go back into packs. They will be in packs the rest of the year. That doesn't mean that you're going to pull them, like, non-stop, but you guys can see whenever I do pack openings, I do tend to pull at least one series Redux. Now, it might be like a DK Metcalf, but sometimes I get lucky and I might pull, like, a George Kittle, Jadavion Clowney, someone that's actually pretty dang good. So... With that, if you happen to have any of these limited time cards, I definitely recommend 
that you guys probably sell them, okay? Especially if you have any expensive ones, 100%, please, if you have more Jackson, sell him right now while you can, because especially if we do get a 98 overall power pass, which I really, really do think we're going to get, he's going to come down in price because everyone's going to be able to just use their power pass on him. He's not going to be selling for 3 million coins, that's for sure. And he's going to be in packs as a series redux, so his price is definitely going to fall down. So if you guys happen to have any decently expensive LTD cards that are from this series, I definitely recommend you guys go ahead and sell. Now, if there is an LTD out there, it's like maybe 300K, right? Like Andre Reeb probably is not that expensive. If I had to guess, we can take a look really quickly, but I don't really feel like Andre Reed is gonna be that crazy expensive. But if you have any of these expensive LTD cards came under this series 100%, I recommend you sell because more than likely they're going to come down in price quite a bit which it looks like Andre Reed is about 900k right now so obviously there's just not up on the auction line but with that being said guys that's all I have for you today with the series 6 update what you guys need to do to prepare definitely 100% without a doubt okay if you're not gonna do the journey if you're not gonna do the gauntlet at least get your level where it needs to be because that 98 and the 99 overall power pass that is huge especially since we are going to get some uh, some really really good 99 overall players later in the year and we're also gonna get some really good 98 overalls you need to get that done and you want to be able to get that done quick and especially if there is some sort of special pack in the store at the max mud level depending on what it is you want to be able to get it as fast as you can to get the most value out of it but with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below i'll see you guys next time